This portion of Smart Notebook 11 Level 2 training deals with dual page display and pending a page. As you can see, this is a notebook file here. We only have one page that's being displayed right now. Well, dual page display will allow you to display two pages at the same time. You basically cut this in half and you have a page on each side. And then what pinning page does is it allows you to stick one page so it doesn't change while the other pages scroll through. And I'm going to show you an example of when that would be helpful. So I'm going to pull up this notebook file. This has an example of how to calculate area. And then the other pages in the file are merely problem pages. So as you have students work this out, it would probably be nice to have these notes also appear on the side of the problem page. So dual page display would be great on this. So I'm going to change this to dual page display. I'm going to go to my display icon. I'm going to press that. I get a lot of options here. And I'm going to choose dual page display. So you'll see I've got a page here, and as I scroll through my pages, they move from right to left. So I press next page, here's another page, and so on. So it brings up my pages, but as you can see, the notes disappear. The notes don't stay on there. This looks great, but I want the problem page to stay. Now how do we do that? That's where you can pin a page. Now before I can pin a page, I have to add that icon to my toolbar. So I'm going to press my gear here. It brings up all my additional icons. I'm going to take my pin page, so it's like a little uh, push pin, and I'm going to drag that up to my toolbar and place it up there. Now I'm going to press that. And you'll see that when you have two, two pages appearing in dual page display, one will have a red outline around it. That is your active page. So if you're going to pin a page, make sure you make the page you want to pin, your active page. So I'm going to press on my notes. It's got a red outline, and I'm going to go right to my pin icon, I'm going to press that, and you're going to see now it has two pins, and actually moved it over to the right side. Don't panic about that, you can scroll right through it. Um, you'll bring all your pages up. So my page of notes is going to stay now. So I'm going to press next page. I move to the next page, here's my work area. I can look at my notes, I can calculate my area. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by 3. So I've got 5 times 3, and that equals 15 square meters. I place my pen down, move to the next problem. Notice how the notes stay, new problem appears. I can press again, again, my notes are here, my new problem appears here. So this is a great thing to use. Uh, when you want to refer back to notes or pictures or diagrams or things like that and also have notes out to the side. So it's very, very helpful. Now, once you pin a page, sometimes you want to unpin that page. So all you do is go back to your page that is pinned, make sure it's active, and it has the red outline, press your pin. It is no longer pinned to that page. And you can see it's right on back to the way it was. And if you want to go back to single page display, press your page display icon and change it back to single page display. So it's all kind of a simple process, but very, very useful for a lot of uh, uh, subjects that you're teaching. And this concludes our discussion on pinning pages and dual page display.